I have finally come to a decision on how I want my prenatal care to go this time, how I want my birth to go this time. Me and Mark have been talking and praying about just what we want this child to just experience with us as we go through pregnancy, as we go through birth. And we have decided on a black midwife. Her name is Tari. I'm just so excited to be working with her. I am super geeked to be going on another new journey this time. So I feel like every pregnancy I'm, I'm inching closer and closer to a full on home birth experience, which is what we have decided on. So we are actually doing all of our prenatal care at home. So Tari will actually come here to our house for my visits. And when we do like sonograms and things like that, I believe we will do that maybe at the birth center that she works out of um, in Hearst, Texas. But basically she gave me the option to do, hey, we can do some prenatal appointments at home. We could do some at the birth center. We could do all in the birth center, all at, at home. Like whatever I or we want to do, we can do, which is super cool and I so appreciate. Um, so yeah, so I told her, you know, I hadn't really fully gotten into the idea of doing like a real home birth. And as I was talking to her and like kind of actually saying my concerns out loud about it, which were so even now like thinking about it, it's like, I'm more so worried about how we're gonna keep the temperature of the pool, cause we're gonna have to use an inflatable pool if we do a home birth, at how are we gonna keep the pool water warm? <laughs> that was my biggest concern. <laughs> It's like, how are we going to make sure that this water stays cool, like warm? Because it's going to be November and it's going to be like not an actual like jacuzzi tub, which is what I had at the birth center at Origins with Micah. And so I was just kind of like in my head about that, but saying it out loud to her on the phone and then obviously like saying it now, it's just so, that's so small. We can keep the water warm. <laughs> So anyway, so that's kind of what pushed me to just being like, whatever, like we're having a home birth, okay? We're having a water birth, home birth, full on experience. That's what we're planning for. I do have the option to birth at her birth center as well in Hearst. So I want to still do some of my appointments there. So I'm just familiar with the place. And if I change my mind at any point, I am comfortable going there and kind of familiar with the space and all that, which is such a, a game changer when you're going into labor because going into an unknown hospital, like yes, most hospitals have you do like a tour at least once before you go into labor, but it's not like, you're frequenting that space regularly um, to really become familiar and at ease there. So I never really felt at ease at the hospital. Um, I had a great nursing staff and things like that. When I did give birth to Sarai in the hospital, I gave birth actually with midwives in Oregon because they had they have midwives deliver at the hospital that I was at, which was, didn't even know how rare that was until after. But anyway, so uh, this time I am doing it all natural and at home. And I'm actually really excited about how we can curate our home to be like the best birth, best, the best, <laughs> the best birth center ever. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So I'm going to be filling out my paperwork, reaching out to her, um, just getting our first appointment scheduled, which needs to be like next week or the week after truly, because I don't even know how, I, like I said, I don't even know how many weeks I am. I haven't heard a heartbeat yet, but you know, like I'm also not worried about it. Like I have a, I'm at such at peace with this pregnancy that I, sometimes I'd be forgetting that I'm pregnant, like not forgetting because I constantly feel pregnant. That's the other thing. Like this time I feel like I feel pregnant, not from like all these different symptoms, which I have a lot of symptoms, which help me feel pregnant, but from a place of like mentally, I'm aware in a way that I think 
you only become aware once you've done it a time or two. <laughs> so if you've had multiple kids, you know what I'm talking about. It's like you just know you kind of like step back into it, especially with me kind of having like babies back to back. So I will say though, I've been feeling better the last few days. The exhaustion hasn't been as bad. And like y'all, I really truly believe that it's because I've been drinking chlorophyll and taking my prenatals like every day. And that has been, especially the chlorophyll water. I, I actually add the liquid chlorophyll to like sweet tea and um, just like juices sometimes, like I, water. Like I just add it to whatever liquid because it really doesn't have too much of a taste unless you put a lot in there, but it's kind of earthy anyway. So you could put it in lemonade and it would taste great. You could put it in teas, it would taste great. So I've been putting it in um, like half and half sweet tea. I'm in Texas y'all, so I drink a lot of sweet tea. Well, half and half, okay, half and half, okay. I'm trying to, you know, watch the sugar. But yeah, so I've been doing that every day and um, it's been great. I've been feeling really good and I did not feel this good with Micah or Sarai. I was like so tired, like, can't even get up most days um, with both of them. Um, but this time, I think the only difference that I've made is regularly drinking the chlorophyll water. Um, I'm also just like more regularly taking supplements like vitamin C and D and, you know, I don't know what else may be um, helping me feel better this time around, but yeah, definitely the chlorophyll I think is doing wonders for me. So what else? Definitely throwing up regularly. Um, I hadn't thrown up the last yet, the last time I checked in with y'all and this week I already threw up twice. Um, and I had, I have nausea every day, but I only have thrown up twice. So, hey, I'll take it. At least I'm not throwing up every day, every moment of the day because some people throw up constantly and that sucks but yeah so that's pretty much my check-in for this week i will chat with y'all soon and i will definitely be bringing y'all to my first prenatal appointment um so y'all can meet Tari uh either this time or another time i don't know um she's super cool though so i'm sure she wouldn't mind me like vlogging um the appointment and stuff but yeah super excited let's get it first trimester